First of all, ay uh, ayos ko kayong lahat batiin ng uh, Yom Hulet Hudelet uh, Mashiach Yeshua. Happy birthday to our Lord and Savior, Yeshua the Messiah, our, our living God, our wonderful Savior and Lord. Ngayon, uh, we are celebrating uh, the Sukkot, the, the, the Feast of Tabernacles. And uh, today, we are on the 19th of Tishrei, the seventh month of the Jewish year, which is still uh, Rosh Hashanah, the new year yan, ibig sabihin ng Rosh, the head, or the first, kaya Rosh Hashanah, the first of the year. We are we are also uh, celebrating the the new year, and also we are celebrating the Shmita year. Don't forget. Bakit ko pa pa ulit ulit ito? I'm rubbing this this uh, term Shmita Shmita year because this is the seventh year of the Shmita cycle. Importante and the coming of the Lord who will fall on a Shmita year and on a Yovel year, Jubilee. Seven times seven, 49, yung 50th is the Yovel or Jubilee. God is the God of plan and time and he is, nilagay niya yung, yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang uh, plan according to the seasons. And seasons, we, we very well understand by now na hindi ito patungkol doon sa winter, spring, summer, or fall. That is not the season that God wants us to understand. Sabi, sabi ni Shaul, ni Rabbi Shaul, that uh, God doesn't want us to be ignorant uh, on the things, on the days, and the season. Yung sinabi sa Genesis chapter 1, I think it's in verse 14, if I'm not mistaken, tapos... Uh, kinuha ito ni Rabbi Shaul or Apostle Paul, I guess it is in Thessalonians, yung word na season doon in Hebrew that is moedim, moedim. Yung moedim, it refers to the holy appointed feasts of Hashem. Yung three major ay uh, yung Pesach, which is Passover, yung, yung uh, uh, Shavuot, which is uh, Pentecost. Asaka ito ngayon sinis-celebrate natin yung Scott, which is Tabernacles. So in between dyan ay kumikilos ang Panginoon sa kanyang plano at sa kanyang mga tao. And even in His creation. Kaya today we are still uh, mindful and aware that this is still the Shemitah, the Shemitah year. After the Shemitah year, I we will start. We will start the Shemitah cycle. So 5782, patatapos yan, 5782 and uh, 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 83, I mean. So yun na ang start ng another Shemitah or Shemitah cycle. Seven years na naman yan. Doon sa dulo is the Shemitah year. Gusto ko lang to bigyan ng konting uh dagdag just an add to the thing that is stirring my heart uh hopefully i may toro ito next next uh torah class the the next smita cycle will be the last smita cycle listen very carefully it's going to be the last smita cycle to end and complete the yovel the jubilee so many uh, Orthodox Jewish rabbis and Messianic Jewish rabbis know very, very well from Torah, from Tanakh, from the Jewish scripture, that the coming of the Lord, the coming of the Messiah of Israel is during the last, this last Ishmita cycle. And next, next year, sa 5783, yun ang start ng another seven Shmita cycle. So with, with that, I, I will digress. 
uh, arali natin yan, ituturo ko yan, Hashem willing, maybe next uh, Hebrew Torah class because that is very important to understand. It will reset our our awareness, it will put our priorities right. Alam naman, alam naman ng marami na parating na ang Panginoon. Pero yung awareness, talaga bang aware tayo na parating na ang Panginoon? Aware ba tayo na na nagdadala yung awareness na yun dun sa talagang preparation? At dun sa preparation, nagdadala ba yun doon sa sinasabing we, we await in the appearance of the Lord? Ang sabi kasi, di ba, yung daw kanyang, yung kanyang, kanyang uh, daratnan at kukunin ay yung mga tao nag await in His appearing. That is written from the book of Habakkuk at yan din ay nasa aklat ng Messianic Jews, a.k.a. Hebrews. So with that, I, um, it, it's, it is something that we have to be, to be very mindful of para yung ating priorities ay maiaayos din natin. And uh, of course, you all very well know na bago bumalik ang Panginoong Yeshua ay magpapa mag bagkakalat mo na papayagan ni Hashem na magkalat ng lagim ang kaaway the, the the enemy who is the the beast the antichrist na na kung saan kung ito ang last smita I, I use the word ko ito ang last smita cycle sa year uh, the next smita cycle ay ang tanong eh kailan yon kailan nililitaw yung yung halimaw Would, wouldn't you be surprised na ang dami nagsasabi na itong COVID na ito na lalo pang, lalo pang magsusore ng heights uh, sa, mga, sa mga viruses na makanilang uh, sinasabi ay will, will prolong up to somewhere 20, uh, 2024 to 2025. 2025, 2024, 2025. If that is true, is it just a plain coincidence na yung gitna ng 2022 hanggang sa 2029, which is 2025? Is it a coincidence or it is God's design? What am I saying? Na siyempre, gagawa ng, pag, ng, ng pakitang dilas magpapakita ng Himala ang Antichrist at siya ang magsusolve ng pandemyang ito, ng mga COVID virus and all the, 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 the wars and, and all the, the, the rumors of wars and all the, 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 the hardships that uh, created this uh, pandemic. Siya yung gagawa ng solusyon nito. Kaya many will, will truly follow Him and, and hail Him. And then after that, is it coincidence or is it design that in the middle of, of his reign, he will declare himself to be worshipped. And then the marking of the beast will now take its place. So if that is true, what are we supposed to do? What preparation must we do? How deep will that preparation be? So with that, iwan ko muna yan, I will digress. Ay, arali natin yan, deep from the Torah and Tanakh. Dahil lahat yan nasa Tanakh and Torah. We are celebrating the fifth day of Sukkot. Today is the fifth day of Sukkot, so I also greet you a Chag Sukkot Sameach. Happy Feast of Tabernacles. So Shabbat Shalom. Hug Sukkot Samea, asaka Happy Shmita Year, asaka Hyom Yudelet, Yudelet Mashiach Yeshua. Happy birthday to our Lord and Savior Yeshua. So, bawal ang sisimamat ngayon, <laughs> bawal ang magi entertain ng problema ngayon. Let all these things set aside. Dahil kahit sa Shabbat, yan ang utos ng Panginoon. Eh. When you come to me, do not bring your burden. Lay it aside. It is a face of Adonai. Shabbat is referring to Shabbat. Now, let me just uh, continue with this uh, thing that I would like to share with you before we get into the vowel points study 
In Vayikra chapter 23, verse 33 and 34, we read, Adonai spoke to Moses saying, on the 15th day of the seventh month is the feast of Scott for seven days to Adonai. That is scripture reference. So next is 35. On the first day, there is to be a holy convocation. You are to do no laborious work. So there's got to be no work, no, no laborious or laborious work. It means it is a holy convocation. And then the verse 36 is, for seven days you are to bring an offering to Adonai. Eighth day will be a holy convocation to you, and you are to bring an offering. Take note of verse 36. For seven days you are to bring a korban. Kaya nga very poor na pag translate mo na sa English. Pero ang sabi ni Hashem sa, sa Hebrew, ang sabi niya for seven days you are to bring a Korban. Korban ay nakuha yan doon sa three-letter Hebrew, ay, which is uh, kof, and then reish, and then bait. Korban. Pag binasa mo yan, you can also uh, read it from the root word, which is karav. Karav. Karav means to draw close to God. Karav, korban, means to draw close to God. Now, when, when a believer draws close to God, ayaw pumayag ni Hashem na lalapit lang tayo empty-handed. That is very scriptural. No, no man comes to me empty-handed. And sabi niya, you have to give an offering. You have to present an offering, which is which is a uh, very educational for us. So sabi niya, bring a korban to Adonai. So if you will notice, what are these korban? These are the, the korban ola, the burnt offering. Tawag dyan sa general uh, description is the, kor, the burnt offering. But it is best to call it as an elevation offering or a korban ola. Ola means to elevate. Or to aliyah. Yung aliyah is to go up. Aliyah. Kaya pag mag ka, pupunta ka sa Israel, you're going up. It is an ascending uh, direction. It is a sign of worship. So, sinasabi niya dito na the first things first, you have to present a bull or an ox pag mag offer ka ng, ng uh, korban ola. Why is that so? Napag-aralan na natin yan na during the, the times of, of uh, the Jewish brethren in the wilderness or, in, or during the times that they entered into the land, ay, ang business nila o ang work nila ay agriculture. So agriculture, it requires uh, yung kanilang ox, oxen, bulls, you know, ito yung parang heavy equipment nila eh. These, these are the, the machinery na kung saan it nagpo-plow ng kanilang field. So para sa Jewish people, that is very, very costly. That, is, that, 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 that requires a lot of sacrifice. Papatayin mo yan eh. You know, papatayin mo yan at wala kang ititira dyan. You don't eat it. You offer every bit of it as an offering of a sweet smelling savor before the lord so what is the what is the spiritual equivalent of the korban ola the bulls and the ox or oxen sarili natin sarili natin yan ay magandang magandang sinabi ni rabbi shaul aka apostle paul sa romans chapter 12 verses 1 and two, sabi niya, my dear, uh, uh, beloved, by the mercies of God, let us offer our bodies as korban chai, a living sacrifice. Offer it ourselves, patay. So, <laughs> yan ang unang-unang service, which is, it should be well-placing and acceptable and holy, and it is going to be our reasonable service of worship. So, Take note, what is the first 
Oh, what is the first menu of worship? Offering ourselves. Yun. Kaya pag buhay tayo sa sarili natin, chances are ay hindi acceptable ng Panginoon ang anumang ministeryo na ating pinapasok because that comes secondary. Though it is also important, but what is most important is our lives fully offered dead from the I, me, mine, myself, selfish, monumented, graphite attitude. Wala kayang mamamatay muna yan. So, andi dito lahat yan sa Torah. Kaya ganun ka-importante ang Torah. Of course, in the spiritual sense of it, and from the mother tongue, Hebrew, kitang-kita po natin yan. Ang sabi niya, on the eighth day, by the way, the seventh day is going to be on Monday. This coming Monday is the seventh day na Scott. And then sabi rito, the eighth day here, the eighth day will be a holy convocation to you. And you are to bring an offering by fire to Adonai. Eish, fire. Pag sinabi yung fire, it, it consumes it consumes everything. Walang matitira yan. And it becomes a vertical offering to Hashem. Again, the eighth day is going to be a holy day of, of convocation. We are not to do laborious work. We are going to, to worship God and bless His name and honor Him for he, he is who He is. Okay, let us continue. Para makalipat na tayo doon sa at, at, ating... Uh, study for the day. <clears throat> it is a solemn assembly. You should do no laborious work. I just went ahead of my, of my uh, slides. Verse 37, these are the Moadim. Look at this. These are the Moadim of Adonai. In English, these are the fists. <clears throat> so hindi mo talaga siya magigets in English. Fists ang sinasabi. But here, tinatawag Moadim. These are the holy appointed fists of Adonai. Meron siyang appointed fist, ha? Kita mo yan, ha? Kaya makikita mo, even in the new, the new covenant believers, makikita natin doon from scripture na si Apostle Paul, si Rabbi Shaul, nung siya ay nag-minister, he has to go back, he has to rush back to Jerusalem because papasok na yung fist of Shavuot. So these are already believers, ha? ng ating Panginoon, pero never nilang ninalify ang mga fist of Adonai. My goodness, how can that be nullified? It is God's fists. It is an <clears throat> no expiration. And it points everything to the direction and plan of God. Sabi nga, it is on a circular, cyclical direction. Paikot yan, eh. umiikot lang siya ang plano ng ating Panginoon. Which you are to proclaim to be holy convocation, to present an offering by fire to Adonai. A burnt offering, a grain offering, a sacrifice and drink offering, each on its own day. What is a burnt offering? It is a korban ola. What is burnt offering or, or korban ola? It is our lives. It is a reflection of us. Actually, this, this burnt offerings, all these priestly uh, duties, all the, the works in the, in the Mishkan or the tabernacle, all of these things, listen very carefully. These are all microcosm of man. Lahat ito microcosm of man. It, it, all, it all points to us. Kung paano inuutos ni Hashem, siya ay magkaisahin natin siya. So all these things, burnt offering, this is korban, ola, it, it's for us to offer to Hashem. Grain offering, these are the, the offerings that, that are the produce of our crops. The, so a reflection are the truma, the truma is offering or the maaser. The Maser is such a holy offering, which to now we call it tidings. Tidings. So that is very holy and a drink offering each on its day. Each on those, those days, what days? During the days of Scott, the Feast of Tabernacle. Ganun siya kahalaga. Verse 38, besides those of the Shabbatot, look at this. 
Besides of those Shabbatot of Adonai, what are the Shabbatot? The Shabbatot are the Shabbats of Adonai. Seventh day, seventh day, seventh day. Sa pag pinagsama-sama mo, ang tawag mo dyan, Shabbatot. No, not Shabbats. It is Shabbatot of Adonai. And besides your gifts and all your vows and your free will offerings which you give to Adonai. So uh, let us now start from there. Now let's go to the study of the vowel, the vowel points. Are we ready? Ready na ba tayo? Let's do it. The 22 letter alphabets are going me now. The first letter is Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet, Yod. Teka, nahalata ako eh. Mukhang ako lang eh. Sabay-sabay tayo. <laughs> students, students, we are in a Hebrew class. Okay, one, two, three. Let's start. Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Bob, Zion, 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 Tet, Yod. Yod. What is the eleventh letter? Kaf, Lamed, Lamed, Mem, Nun, 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 and then Samech, Samech, Ayin, Ayin, Hey, Hey. Sadi, Sadi, Kof, Kof, Reish, Reish, Shin, Shin, and the last is Tav. Okay. Now let us let us always remember that some of these letters have their sulfit sulfit forms. Sulfit means the last the last letter in a word for example na yung word na na pay ito ay nagiging fay at pag ito ay nasa dulo na ng word hindi mo na siya sinusulat as parang letter f like that it becomes a different stroke a different letter stroke the yan tawag diyan ay sulfit sulfit or last letter Okay, so with that, another another uh, review just for point of uh, uh, we we just uh, recap recapitulation. I uh, two letter words are silent. What are these two letters? What are these two Hebrew letters that are silent? The letter ayin and the letter aleph. aleph. Okay. Paano siya nagkakaroon ng sound sa tulong ng vowel points? Okay. Now, let us go to the vowel points. You have to excuse me. Magtuturo ako ng mabagal. Bakit? Sapagkat mahirap ito ng konti. Pag nagkamali tayo rito ay Malaki ang problema natin. Okay. So, okay. Now, let us start with the letter. Nahihirapan nga ka ako. Ah, ah teka, teka, lilipat ako ha. Sandali lang. Ah, I will not rush. I'll take my time. Dahil napaka-importante nitong vowels na to. I don't want to fail you because I don't want to fail also. So, please, uh, aralin natin mabuti ito. This is letter what? This is letter Aleph. Aleph. This is letter Aleph. So, we have learned that the letter Aleph has no sound. If I will just pronounce Aleph, I will say something like this so there's no sound so paano siya magkakaroon 
ng sound. Lalagyan mo siya ng vowel points. That is the, the term nikodim. Pag-iisa, nikod. Pag marami, nikodim, the vowel points. The first vowel point that I want to teach you is the vowel... It is like a straight horizontal dash. Okay? Straight horizontal dash. At ang tawag dito ay... Attack. Ang tawag dito ay... Patak. Patak. The name of this vowel... Uh, sound or vowel point is patak. Why is it called patak? Because it is because it is a petak open sound. I repeat, why is it called patak? It is called patak because it is a petak open sound. Ano ibig sabihin ng petak? Open sound. When you pronounce this, you pronounce it as as a long sound. Ah. Ah. A short sound is ah. Ah. But a long sound is a patak sound. Ah. All right? So in in the letter in the letter uh, Aleph Pwede mo tong i-pronounce as ah. Pwede mo rin siyang i-pronounce as Okay. Pwede mo rin siyang i-pronounce. Ay, taga, wala pa lang ako na ilagay. The next, the next vowel, the, the next nikod or vowel sound is comets. Comets sound. If you will notice this comet sound, para siyang T. Para siyang letter T. This one is a dash. This one looks like a letter T. So, ang tanong ko sa inyo, if this patak means petak, which is an open, long sound, what is comet? Comets is a comets close sound. In patak, it is it is a petak open sound. Ang comets is a comets close sound. When you say comets, it means close. Sarado. Sarado. So, pag sinabing close, close sound, if this is patak is a long sound, Comets is short. Okay? If, if patak is long sound, ah, ah. Okay? How about comet? Ah, ah. Short. Asa ka patapos? Ah. Okay? Important. Napaka-importante niyan. Repeat. What is patak? Patak is an open sound. Kaya nga pag sinabing open, it is petak. Petak. Pag sinabing comets, why is it comets? Because it is a comets. It means close sound. Now, patak is an open sound. And it is also a long sound. How about comets? Comets is a short 
sum. Do you understand? Okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a close sound. Now, I would like to give you an example. What is the best example that we can perhaps give for, for uh, this vowel? I'll take this, the... I'll take the example, this one. This one are letters, reish, reish, vav, and chet. Again, these are letters, reish, vav, and chet. If I will pronounce this, I will pronounce this as ru, ru, ruach, chet, ruach. So, what is a ruach? It is the spirit of God. So, spirit, if you will imagine a spirit, it is a wind sound, ruach. So, a wind, it is ongoing, it is moving. Kaya na itong ruwak. Ruwak. Ah, basya. Anong ginamit ko? Ang ginamit kong vowel sound ay patak. Bakit ko siya ginamit na patak? Because ruwak. Mahaba yun eh. It is a long pronounce, pr pr pronunciation. No? Ruwak. This is a chet. The eighth letter. This is the vowel. <laughs> Which is the sixth letter? The race, which is which is the how many pang ilan ang race? Twenty. What is race? Pang ilan ang race? Somebody. Two hundred. Pang ilan? Is it twenty second or twenty one? No. Um. So pang ilan siya? 21. 21. Ano ba, ano ba ang next uh, race? What is next to race? Tell me din. Answer. Yes. What, huh? what is next to race? Shen. Shen po. Shen po. Shen. So if if shin. if 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 next to reish is shin, what is next to shin? Tab. What's next to shin. Tab. 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 So if tab is the last, tab. that is twenty-two. If shin tab. to the last, that is twenty-one. So reish is the twentieth. Letter. So not 21, it's 20. Okay, very important yeah. one. So, ru, wa. Pag ito ay ginanito ko, magkakamali ako. For example, ginawa kong, imbis sa patak, ginawa kong, ginawa ko siyang, uh, ginawa ko siyang comments. Will somebody please pronounce this? Will somebody please pronounce this? Ru, ru, okay. Uh, if I can put a commit a patak, I'm pronunciation ru. ito hindi na siya ruach. It becomes ruach. Ruach. Mabilis. Para may drop ball. Para siyang may drop ball. It is not moving anymore. Okay? But ruach means the spirit. Ruach. Ruach Adonai. Ruach. Ruach. 
Mashiach, the spirit of Messiah. So ang pronunciation mo rito ay Ruach. Okay? Okay. Ma makukuha natin yan, mas madali, mas madali yan kapag binabasa na natin yung word for word. The next vowel. The next vowel sound after patak and comets is vowel. This is the, the next vowel. The next vowel sound is what we call This is the next. The next vowel sound after patach and kametz is the vowel shva. Shva. Can you shva. can you pronounce it with me? It is shva. Shva. Come on, lahat na tayo mag unmute, please, because this is also a very important vowel sound. This is shva. 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 It is not Shiva. It is not Shiva. It is Shva. 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 Parang, yung, ano, parang yung second book of the Torah. The second book of the Torah is Shmot. Shmot. Not Shemot. Not Shemot. But the right pronunciation is Shmot. Shmot. Okay? Shmot. So the vowel points is this one. Dalawang tulduk siya. Meron din tong variation eto vowel points ito or vowel sound na to may variation pero next time yon hindi ko muna paghalo-halo eh dahil yung ako yung nag-aral yung pinaghalo-halo ko believe me i got confused so hindi ko gagawin yung aking mga naging problema i'll teach you the shortcut way the easiest way madali na yung mga susunod na yan pag pinagsama-sama mo in one go in one teaching chances are you'll get confused so I'm not going to do that. Okay, Shva. Kagaya nung, kagaya nung, uh, the greatest commandment. What is the greatest commandment? The greatest commandment in, in Mark chapter 12 and in, in Devarim or Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 and 5, the greatest commandment is Shma Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shma. You don't say Shema. You don't say Shema. You say Shema. 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 Okay? Nawala yung I, ha? Nawala yung I. Shema. Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu. So it's Shema. Say very, very important yan. The next letter or the next vowel sound is the next vowel sound is Hirek. It is Hirek. Makikita natin yung vowel points niya ay isang dot sa baba. Isang dot sa baba. 
So this is Hirek sound. E. 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 You don't say, this is American, di ba? Yung, yung kanyang, yung kanyang, yung pronunciation ay I. That I think, it becomes a long I, it becomes I. No, but in Hebrew, you say E. 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 Chirek has two things. It is a short Chirek. It is a short Chirek. How? What is short Chirek? You pronounce it with a short E. E. Para niyo patak. Pronounce mo with a long Ah. Your comments pronounce it with a comment short. Ah, ah. Okay. Okay. Now this letter, this letter Aleph, meron itong meron itong vowel points and. Also, ang tawag ay chirek, but it is not a short chirek. It is a long chirek. Long I, in other words. Long. Okay. How do you, how do you, make a long I. If this is a dot, that is a chirek short. Now what is a chirek long? A chirek long is like this. That's it. A chirek long has a dot under the letter, a dot under the letter with a yod after the letter, with a yod after the letter. Kapag yan ay nilagyan mo ng chirek short at nilagyan mo ng yod, magiging long chirek yan. It means e. E. Kapag ito ay dot lang, magiging E. Kapag ginawa mong may dot with a yod, it becomes a long pronunciation. E. Right, let's move on. Let's move on and then later on ay magkakaroon tayo ng examples ng Hebrew words using the vowel points. Okay? <clears throat> now let's continue. Pagamitin ko na naman our, our favorite friend of course that is Aleph always the favorite There you go. Okay. Okay. This is another vowel points. Vowel points. Pagigitan natin yung shwa, yung shwa ay dalawang dot na vertical, correct? Vertical yung shwa. Ito naman, dalawang dots na horizontal. Two dots, horizontal. Ang tawag naman dyan ay siray. Siray. Ang tawag dito sa vowel points ito 
I Tsarei. Tsarei. What is Tsarei? This is a pronunciation that is a short Tsarei, short. So nakukuha nyo na, no? So kung may short, definitely may long. So pag ito ay long naman, what is the long Tsarei? The long Tsarei is also with a yod. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Pag long siya, ganun pa rin yung vowel points mo, dalawang dot horizontally, but you have to add a yod. So ang pronunciation mo dyan ay a, a, mahaba na. Kanina napupuna ninyo yung patak, it is a, a, what is the comments? Ah. Now, the chirek, the short chirek is pronounced e. But the long chirek is with a yod, it becomes e. Okay? The third letter, uh, the, the, the third vowel. Uh, points, hindi pala third yun, marami na pala yun kasi may short and, and long, ano? Uh, I beg your pardon. Ito naman, with a yod, ang tawag naman dyan ay long long seray. Okay? It becomes a long seray. So the logic will not will not confuse you. The same logic. Yan ang maganda sa Hebrew eh. Wala na siyang mga hidden things. It is very straightforward. Pag natutunan mo, you can read you can read the, the scripture from the mother tongue Hebrew very quickly. Wala na yung nakatagong dapat mo pa siyang aralin. Walang ganun. Okay? Now let's move on. Let's get our best friend again. Who is our best friend Aleph? A representation of L. Repres representation of God. Okay? Punta naman tayo dito sa susunod na vowel sound. The next vowel sound is this Vowel. Okay. Okay, this one. This one. It is like it is like a triangle, a three dotted triangle. Seagull. That's it. Ang tawag dyan ay seagull. Seagull. Pag, wag mong, mandi ka ma, ma, hindi ka malilito dito sa, sa three-dotted triangle shape. It is called seagull. Para siyang cluster of grapes. It is like a cluster of grapes. Okay. So, how do you pronounce uh, seagull? Eh. 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 Okay. Okay, can I move on? I'll move on. The next vowel point is
Okay. So this vowel point, this one, notice it is on a diagonal, diagonal direction. Three dotted points diagonally. It has to start from the bottom, from the right, going to the left, not from the left, going to the right. Balik tada magiging kalabasan nun. Mali yun. This vowel point is called kibbutz. Yan. Kibbutz. And how do you pronounce this? You pronounce this as U. U. You don't pronounce it as U. Western yon, Western yon. You pronounce it as U. U. That is kibbutz. Again, kibbutz is from the right, diagonally going to the left. Hindi ganito, ha? Hindi ganito. Yan. Ah, hindi ganito, ha? Not, not, not like this. It's not like this. It is this. So, mali, ito. Ito, correct. Okay? That's kibbutz. How do you pronounce it? Again, u. U. Hindi o. You pronounce it as u. Kibbutz. U. Like kuf. Not Kaf. It is kof. And how do you pronounce how do you how do you spell kof? So, so English, it is spelled with a Q. U F Kof. How do you pronounce a kaf in English? Kaf. Kaf is the eleventh letter. Diba? Eleventh letter after Yod. How do you pronounce kaf? Oh, how do you spell cough? Sorry. So using English alphabet, you say K A F. So take note, cough, cough. Okay? Cough, cough. Wag magbabalik ka dyan. Pag nag-aral ka sa ano, tip lang ito, a tip lang ito. It's just uh, some tidbits. Pag nagpunta ka sa, sa YouTube, tuturuan ka talaga. Kaya lang tuturuan ka nang mali. Dahil nagkakabali-balik na sila dun sa K and Q. Kung minsan nga wala na silang Q, it's all K. Oh my goodness, it will just rock your brains. Kasi sa, lalo na kayong mga perfectionist, pag-aya ko, ayoko magkamali kasi this is very holy. Ay nako, magkakamali tayo kapag napalit natin yung CH sa KH. Malaking pagkakaiba ng KH at saka ng CH. Okay? Paano nagkamali yung paano malaki ang pagkaka, pagkakaiba ng CH sa huli at saka yung KH sa huli? For example, what's what's a word that ends with with a KH? A word that that ends with a KH is the word Baruch. Baruch. Baruch haba, welcome. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Blessed are you, Baruch. Blessed. E pag ginawa mong ano yan, for example, in English, B-A-R-U-C-H, you lost the meaning. It becomes it becomes a chet in the, in the last letter. Di ba C-H? Di ba C-H is chet? What is chet? Chet is the eighth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And what is what is a uh, kaf? That is the eleventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet, 
with a sulfit letter, sulfit cuff, that is KH, not CH, okay? We learned about that. Uh, just just uh, hold on and it's going to be easy, I promise. I promise. So now we are going to move with other vowel points. And I would like to, to finish with this one. It says, uh, hindi tayo magmamadali. Dahil pwede tayong magmadali ng mali-mali. Huwag. Ayaw, ayaw natin yun. Ayaw natin yun. And what I am teaching you is what the Jewish people has taught me. Kaya pati yung pronunciation, pati yung pagsulat, it's all Jewish. Wala siyang halong, halong Western. Because there are many Western who are teaching Hebrew from, from a Western mindset. Kaya damay pa rin eh. Huli pa rin eh. Huwag, huwag tayong ganun. Huwag tayong ganun. <clears throat> well, now let's take again our best friend. Our best friend. Aleph. So Aleph is a silent letter, right? It is a silent letter. You don't, you cannot pronounce it as as it is by itself. Wala. Wala. But if I add a vav here, if I add a vav here and I place a dot here, okay, a vav. What is vav, by the way? What is the letter Vav? The letter Vav is the sixth letter. Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Aleph, He, Vav. Okay, Vav. Pag itong Aleph, nilagyan mo ng Vav at nilagyan mo ng dot sa taas it is now pronounceable. Okay, can I use the third pronounceable? Pwede mo na siya i-pronounce. Oh, okay, oh. Uh, Manny, pakimute mo yan. So, it becomes oh. Sorry. Oh, it's a long O. Bakit siya naging long O? Kasi meron na siyang helping vav. We call it as helping vav with a dot above it. Okay? How do you pronounce this? O. O. What if I take away, I take away the vav. Hmm. Ayan, alisin ko nga yung above na yan. Alisin ko yung vav. Alisin ko yung vav. Dati nilagyan ko ng vav. No, alisin ko yung vav. Pero ang gagawin ko, lalagyan ko ng dot dito. Okay? Teka, teka. Ah, teka, sandali lang. Sandali lang po. Sandali lang po. Ah, para mas madali niyong maintindihan. All right. Okay. Okay. Kanina, Aleph, no sound, but with the help of a vav, with a dot above, it becomes an O. 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 Okay. Now, balik na naman ako kay best friend Aleph. Tinanggal ko ang vav. Nilagyan ko ng dot dito, makikita mo yung 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 ano niya, yung stroke niya. Take, take a look this. Take a look at this, my friends. 
Tiyan mo yung horizontal niya, ano? dire-diretso siya. Tapos diretso siya rito. Dito mo siya ilalagay. Yan, dito mo siya ilalagay. Yan. Diyan. Huwag mo siyang ilalagay din eh. Huwag mo siyang ilalagay dito. Hindi dito. Yan. Hindi dyan ha. Hindi dito ha. Hindi dito. Ilalagay mo siya parang yung nakasusog. Nakadiretso doon sa dot na yun. Pag ganun, diagonal. Ayun. Doon. May sound na naman yan. Hindi mo siya sa... You will not pronounce it as O. But you will pronounce it as O. O. Example. If I say Adonai, if I say Adonai, I use this one. Adonai. But if I say Adonai, Adonai, you don't put a vav, you just put a dot. At the very horizontal. Okay? Okay, are you there? Ice ba? Do you, do you understand? <laughs> My goodness, to those who understand, can you can you just make a thumbs thumbs up? Thumbs up? Okay, thank you. Baruch Hashem. All right. So, now let us finish with a few examples. Magkaroon tayo na example. What is God? Question. What is God? God is what? Answer. What is God? God is power of master of all power. Huh? God master of all power. Okay. Another. Another. Um, Another characteristic of God. What is God? God is? Creator. Creator, okay. Basic, basic. Come on, let's go to basic. What is God? God is? God is? God is love. God is love. Okay, God is love. So, gamitin natin yun. Okay, gamitin natin yun. All right. This is the way you write a hav. A hav. A hav means love. So, ang spelling ng a hav is with an aleph and a hay and a bait. Okay? E wala naman dot, di ba? Walang dot. So, it becomes a vait. So, ayoko madumihan yung aking uh, finger dahil uh, mamamasyal pa kami ng wife ko because it is the birthday of Mashiach, Yeshua. Saan niyo ba dadali ng asawa ninyo o anak o ano? Um, so, a half, a half. So now, bakit ba siya mapupronounce ng a half? What made it a half? Kasi Short ito. Ayan, gagamitin natin ngayon yung comments. Okay. Tapos yung hey. What is the meaning of hey? Talmud. My students, ano ibig sabihin ng hey? What is the, what is the paleo, 
Paleo hey, Paleo Hebrew hey. It is behold, behold, hey, revelation. Wonder. So when you say, hey, behold, or should you say, hey, should you say behold? You don't say, hey, you don't say behold. You say, hey, okay. you give a patach vowel. Ah, short? Ah, oh. ah, ah, okay. Now, pag binigyan mo yan ng, ng uh, further meaning, you say ahava. Ahava. All right, there you go. Ahava. Ahava, there is another hey at the, at the end of it. Aha. Aha. Ahava. So, I left with a Ubayon. Ah, yung makina ni ano? Ah, uh, yung makina ni na, na ano? Uh, this is a comets. I left with comets. So ah, mabilis. And then this is with a patak. Aha. Pag tinanong si Ahava, ang tanong, ano ilalagay ko rito na vowel points? Should it be a patak or should it be a kobets? Anong sagot? Patak. Ito ba Ahaba. ay dapat patak? O ito ba ay dapat kamets? Ahaba. Patak is a long open sound. Kamets po, kamets. Ayun, okay, kamets. So this one is a... So, pag pin-renounce mo yan, ah, 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 So, that's the way to read and write Hebrew. It takes a little bit of practice. It, it takes a little bit of study. It takes a little bit of familiarization and you can now read and write always remember everything has a meaning walang chamba dyan walang nandiyan dyan yan kasi basa nandiyan dyan lang yan eh no 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 it doesn't work that way always may meaning yan okay okay last last ano oras sa ba ako oh Mag-11.30 na. 10.30 na. It's 10.25. I still have four minutes. Okay. Okay. The last I would like to teach you is this, is this word. Thank you. 
first letter is the letter mem. The next letter is the letter lambed. And the, the third letter is the sofit kaf. Okay, this is the end, sofit kaf. So with the help of the vowel points, we use a seagull for the mem and a seagull for the lamed and a shva, a shva for the kaf. So how will you pronounce this? Me, me, le, me, le, me, le, me, le, me, le, me, le. What does Melech means? King. King. The whole house of Israel always pray using this. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Melech Ha Olam, King of the universe. Adonai, our God, is the King of the universe. So always ito kasali sa parating prayer natin. Because the King is Hashem and our Lord, Yeshua, the Messiah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to further on our study next. Then the next, uh, uh, I lost count, maybe it's day 12 of the Hebrew uh, Torah class. If you have been blessed, invite others to join along. We are now celebrating a great hug, a great fist, and a holy appointed fist. And Hashem said this, you are going to come to me during my fist, the fist of mine, sabi ng Panginoon. This is my fist. This is, this is a moed, a moedim. And you cannot come to me empty-handed. No man comes to the Lord empty-handed. We are required by God to bring to him our korban, our sacrifices. Number one is our great sacrifice ourselves. Our korban chai. Let us present our bodies as living sacrifices. Let those I, me, mine, myself, selfish thing die by itself. It's going to be all for God and his plans and purpose. And another thing is we present to him holy things of God. First, the truma. Can you say truma? Truma means offering. Offering. And the higher thing than offering is the Maaser. Maaser means the holy tithes of Hashem. Every hug, every feast, God is requiring the whole house of Israel, of course the males, mga lalaki, to come to him, to make a korban, to come to him, karav, to draw close to him as he draws close to us. He offers his best. He gave his best. He gave his Torah. And then he gave his living Torah, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua the Messiah. And he requires of us to come to him and draw close to him, to karav, present to him, korban, ourselves, our tithes, our offerings, our talents, our giftings, anything that God is asking from us, let us present it unto him. To bless his name, to honor him. So may the God of Abraham bless you, empower you, and may those who are still sick and recuperating through the power of his word, let it be life to those who find it. Let it be strength to all of their flesh. And he sent his word and he healed them. These are the very powerful original mother tongue Hebrew Lashon Kodesh, that God sent, and his word said, and he sent his word, and he healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. 
Shabbat Shalom to everyone. May you have a very wonderful feast of Scott. Meron pa tayong day six bukas, meron tayong day seven sa, sa Monday, and the day eight, nako, it's no work, no work, offer, offer to Hashem a holy adoration and worship. All for our Father God in heaven. Yivarecha Adonai vayish barecha, yer Adonai panav elecha vikonecha. Yisa Adonai panav elecha, beyasem lecha shalom. May Adonai bless you and may Adonai keep you. And may Adonai's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Adonai lift up his countenance toward you and give you his shalom. Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.